Hello class, welcome back to another lecture. This is lesson 12, uh, Stages of Human Development is the title. You can see the key points above me as always, fertilization, trimesters, pregnancy, and fetal growth. We will get into the notes right away. I wanted to let you know that it is set up a little bit differently. Uh, it's kind of in a chart form, so you'll have to take that and turn it into a form of notes that works for you. Um, and in the space that we have, it's just set up a little bit differently. So uh, just to let you know. So this is the stages of human development now uh, when it is like a fetus or an embryo. Uh, we're gonna focus on, on pregnancy and that part of it, not um, you know toddlers and, and things like that. We're gonna focus on uh, fetal development in this lesson. Let's get into it here. So, uh, stages of human development. The first step is fertilization. And as you know uh, from the last lecture, this occurs in the fallopian tube. Uh, the egg goes from the ovary into the uh, fallopian tube and the sperm travels through all the different structures that we talked about to get to the fallopian tube and fertilize the egg. The egg and the sperm uh, unite to produce a zygote. And then that zygote um, goes uh, into the uterus and implants. It takes a couple of days, it does some growing while it does that. Uh, it, ta it takes some time for all this stuff to happen. So, uh, just so, just to note at the bottom, once fertilization occurs, mitosis uh, controls the growth and development from the zygote into adulthood. So, we have uh, no more meiosis uh, except in the testes and the ovaries. Uh, once fertilization occurs, mitosis just occurs again and again and again until uh, we become um, like us. It's obviously a lot more complicated than that, but you get the idea. So some things that happen in the first trimester. This is the first 12 weeks. Uh, mo movement from the fallopian tube to the uterus occurs. Uh, the zygote is now called an embryo, and that's up until about 8 to 12 weeks is when we call it an, embry uh, an embryo. Uh, it attaches to the uterine wall, so it essentially burrows its way into the uterine wall and it, that's what gives it the nutrients uh, that it needs to grow. Uh, placenta and amniotic sac form, the embryo becomes a fetus, and by the end of this trimester all the major organs have begun to develop, which is pretty cool. It only takes about 12 weeks to have you know, your heart start to develop and all of the major organs in your body start to take shape. So that's very, very uh, quick, uh, considering how complex your body is. Um, the second trimester is from weeks 13 to 24, the next 12 weeks. Uh, the skeleton forms, so you start to get some bones. They're not exactly uh, completely formed yet. Uh, you have the nervous system, so brain and uh, nerves start to form, which is great. Uh, they begin to function. Um, the mother begins to feel movement, so this is a time when you might start to feel kicks, although they might be small to start and get larger uh, as you move on, and the organs continue to develop. So a um, big one here is that you start to feel movement and the nervous system begins to function. Uh, in the third trimester, you get a rapid increase in the size of the fetus, um, the immune system develops, uh, so it has some uh, immunity against other uh, foreign invaders, and you have in increased movement even more. Uh, so obviously you're growing larger and larger throughout these three trimesters. There are other things that happens, uh, and we'll get into that more. You'll do a little bit more of a detailed breakdown of what happens during this week at this week at this week, uh, but that's a good uh, overall view of what goes on. So fertilization and trimesters is kind of covered for key points here. Um, some visible sign of, signs of pregnancy, so this is from the, uh, you know, you don't have to go inside to see if somebody is pregnant. These are uh, signs that somebody is pregnant. Uh, and it can vary, you know, somebody might get uh, more of these than others, but definitely menstrual flow stops. Uh, widening of the hips because uh, the baby does need to um, breach that gap. Uh, enlargement of the breasts to get ready for breastfeeding. Uh, morning sickness, that is 
the illness that thalidomide was given for. Um, so it is very, very unpleasant and it can make people uh, quite sick. So to try to stop that, uh, people took thalidomide unknowingly and it caused uh, birth defects, uh, mutations from lesson two. Uh, weight gain is an obvious one and there are different cravings. Um, I'm not sure how it is exactly like in the movies where someone needs pickles now or whatever, but uh, there are definitely um, different cravings that people have and that's because of hormones. Um, here we have uh, a really obvious picture, and I think it's in your notes as well, uh, of how uh, a baby develops. You know, it starts off as an embryo, it's uh, kind of unrecognizable. Uh, it quickly becomes recognizable and grows rapidly near the end. Uh, what I would like you guys to do for your job is to find at least one characteristic at each stage. So there's eight weeks, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, and 40 weeks. Uh, what I'd like you to do is at each of those steps, find a characteristic like fingernails start to grow. I know that's a common word. They have eyelashes now. Uh, hair is a possibility of growing. Uh, things like that. What are some landmarks that um, each week each uh, that is given here has? Uh, so you'll need to do a little bit of your own research. I believe there's space. Yes, there's space given for you to do that. So um, find something interesting, a cool fact. And yeah, thanks very much for watching, everyone. Uh, I believe the next lesson is the last one. So I will see you soon. And then this uh, unit is over. Thanks very much.